Hello everybody, I am going to be kind of playing around with some alcohol inks and if you remember from my haul video the other day, I purchased some of the alcohol ink hardcore art panels and I wanted to give them a try so I am going to be doing that in this video. Before I get into all of the products that I'm using and the different techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you, uh, if you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you are notified every time I upload a video and every time that I go live. Also if you uh, want leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried alcohol inks and what your favorite color combinations are. Also all of the supplies I am using in this video will be listed in the description box down below so be sure to check it out if you want more information on any of the supplies that I'm using or if you want to pick any of them up. And I could not for the life of me uh, not get in the video just a tad with my head because I was using uh, a straw to kind of move the ink around. So I apologize, I tried my best and then I got off camera. So uh, I am I'm just kind of playing around at this point, like I said in the beginning of the video. Um, but I wanted to tell you about the hardcore art panels before I get into the colors that I'm using. So it says on the back, it is a, it's vinyl mounted with a pH neutral, non-yellowing permanent adhesive and you can use these with alcohol inks, the pearls, mixatives, and blending solution. And it is uh, double-sided and ready to use bright white, lightly textured surface. And the core is MDF board, and again, it is double-sided. And like I said, it has just a very subtle texture to it. I think it gives the art panel a really nice artistic look. I have been wanting to play around with my alcohol inks for quite some time again. I uh, was really into them quite a while ago. So I will have a link in the upper right hand corner for you guys to see all of those videos that I created um, a, quite a few months ago. Um, I really enjoy uh, using this type of medium. It's very relaxing. I think I was a little bit bored with the Yupo paper. Uh, well, not bored. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. I wanted to use alcohol inks, but I was just, well, I guess bored <laughs> of the same type of result. So I was really excited to see something new from Ranger, and I could not wait to get my hands on them. I loved using this board because it made it really easy to move or to pick it up and move the ink back and forth and side to side. As the Yupo paper, it it kind of bends a little bit and um, it's just not as, of course, flat and hard um, as this board, this panel here. It held up really well to the heat. I uh, used my heat tool quite a bit on this panel and there was no um, buckling or any of the uh, vinyl coming up or any bubbling or anything that I noticed. Uh, I know that with the kind of lighter, um, lightweight Yupo paper, it basically melts if you use too much of heat on it. Uh, the heavier weight Yupo paper holds up a little bit better, but um, as far as the heat goes, this is definitely by far the best. So um, that's, that's always a plus because I love using my heat tool to move around the color and um, dry it and that sort of thing. So, all right, I kind of blabbed a lot about uh, my thoughts on the panels and all of that. So I'm going to get into the colors and I have them here. So let me just tell you, I used a combination of aqua, stream, sailboat blue, and aquamarine. It comes up pretty green on camera for some reason. I have changed my lights a bit, so I'm wondering if that's why, uh, but it is a little bit more blue in person. So I just add some of the uh, alcohol blending solution that I have made myself with al uh, regular alcohol. 
uh, and isopropyl alcohol, I should say, and the glycerin, and I have a video on that as well, and I will I'll link it in the upper right hand corner for you guys, and then I add some of the alcohol ink, and then kind of move it around, and now I wanted to add a little bit of the gold, and I really like how this one turned out. Not my favorite piece, but um, I found that if you add just regular alcohol to the uh, panel and wipe it away, it wipes up perfectly. With the Yupo, pa with the Yupo paper, um, some of the colors tend to stain it a little bit. I didn't find, at least with any of these uh, particular colors, that it stained because, as you can see, I wipe away um, some of the color and then I'll add a little bit more. So that is always a plus too because sometimes you don't really like how something is turning out so you want to start all over and that's the good thing about the alcohol inks is that uh, if you want you can just take some regular isopropyl alcohol, put a bunch on and wipe it away and start start new especially if you're using Yupo paper or again this hardcore art panel. So I'm just going to dry this and I, again, I really like how it turned out. I um, am still learning about this medium. It's very intriguing to me. I really enjoy it. And I cannot wait to play with these uh, panels a little bit more and get the pearls, the pearl uh, alcohol inks too. So here is a look at uh, the panels that I made. I used uh, some purples and pinks in this next one here and some gold and I really love how that turned out as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you are notified every time I upload. Here's a couple more videos you might enjoy and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, bye.